Alright, what is up guys? Welcome back to today's video. Today we're out here at Loretta Lands in Tennessee. Right now we're getting ready to go out to the 9-11 uh, limiting class. Hopefully we can go to bring home the win and uh, get a championship in this class. So we'll see how it goes and uh, yeah. Oh, <laughs> 
Looking good. No headache or anything. Yeah, this thing's good to go. Alright. It's good you stop by though. Just... Alright, guys, we just got done with my moto. And uh, first lap, I crashed, got back up, caught back up at fourth, I was making passes. And then um, third lap, I came around, and I was trying to like stay in this line that kind of faded out, but I kind of like swapped out, hit a hay bow. And I like went over the bars, hit my head pretty bad, cut my tongue open. <laughs> cut it 
it open, crack the fresh visor, and uh, helmet's a bit scratched up, but you know, it happens. And uh, uh, sadly, we're not gonna be able to come up with championship in that class, but we can uh, in the 65 class, so that's the goal. We're gonna go get the championship in the 65 class, win all the motos, and then uh, hopefully we're gonna get um, an 85 win as well, so yeah. Uh, this dude cuts oh, okay. everyone off right here, he bad. All the way to the inside. And then watch him, number 23. Janet Goodbye. Takes him out. Was that Janet? Yeah. Really? I thought Janet was right to the left. No. Janet was right here. Yeah, and Janet walked. He's back here, right there. Oh, yeah, he shot the game. He shot the gap. That was horrible. This one's cool though, it's like on like yeah, plexiglass this is like or something. This acrylic. is acrylic. Oh, I like it. Well, you can see if it's in the, the same page here, but a different way. That's cool. So what what do you do with it? How much are these? Yeah, this is a gift. Uh, yeah. yeah. Because it's an example. Thank you. Yeah, yeah sure. An example for the, um, the metal uh, acrylic, you know? It's awesome, thank you. Yeah, cool. I we'll love post, it. Uh, we'll post it. Haley. Yeah. So, I talked to someone yesterday that saw you. <laughs> that saw you. Yeah. They said, boy, she really is fast behind the wheel. <laughs> she said, they about put me into the wall. <laughs> so. I haven't been driving the golf cart all Much. <laughs> but I'll tell you what I told your brother a year or so ago. Uh -huh. Because you're so good, <laughs> people know who you are, yeah. and you are under a finer microscope. <laughs> got right? it. Just remember that. Got it. If you ever get in trouble, you got my number. Oh, there we go. <laughs> so I guess it's always good to be on that side. I used to not be on that side. So how do you know? Uh, I'm not sure. Uh, okay, yeah, like glass. Uh, yeah, like that. And, yeah. And the, the rest is lessons, yeah. lessons, lessons learned. learned. His, yeah, yeah. his front end was twisted, so he couldn't even really write. He just uh, cruised everything. I, I was pretty upset because I'm always like, unless your arms needed. are broke, <laughs> finish hard, you know? And, and so, anyway, he, I watched the video though, and he did crash pretty hard. That was a, that was a good one. He had two good ones, pretty hard. The way it goes. Well, there's another class. It's yep. a long week. Another chance. Yeah. It's all good. And how have you been doing? Good, really good. I get all your media blitz <laughs> in my email and I'm like, yeah. Haley is killing it. Yeah, I know it's been going good. I'm racing the NASCAR K&M series, so yeah. uh, doing that all year. It's like every weekend I'm having races. More important, how do you like North Carolina? The racing's great, other than that, it sucks. <laughs> how are you? Yeah. Yeah. How about you? Yeah. But Haley, bye. She's hanging out for a few days, so. Hey, how are you? I'm good. How are you? I follow you all the time. I <laughs> do. <laughs> like he was over here last night. I knew everything about what you're doing. I knew about Iowa. It's end of the day, day one here at Loretta's. We got through practice. Everything was good. I'd say Hayden was one of the fastest kids in his classes, and then go to the starting line today. You know, weather's nice and. And bikes are all good, everything's dialed, and comes out of the gate, spins, spins a little. I mean, got like probably 16th gate pick, which was okay, it wasn't bad. We got in a gate that was pretty hard packed dirt, you know, spinning, coming out of the gate, got closed off in the first turn, which isn't the end of the world. You can make up, you got a long moto. So he's coming through the pack on the first lap, hits a jump and lands straight, but it had a little edge on the landing, and they watered it, and he just, spun out when he landed real quick and crashed. It was a pretty good crash, like pretty decent one, but he got up quick, bike stayed running and he took off and started coming through the guys again. But I think at that point he's probably riding over his head, pushing really hard because he wanted to catch up. And I think that just comes from being young and just, you know, being a super aggro and he's trying to catch up and sees the leader's way out there and then he's passing guys, gets up to fourth place, which was good. I mean, end of the day, it's three moto format, so anything in the top five, first moto, helps you, I mean, you're in the fight for the championship at that point, like you definitely, it's good enough to keep going and still have a chance. And so, he's coming through and uh, I think it's about four at that point. I think he could have caught up to third maybe, maybe second, and he was coming, around a berm wide open 
around the outside and the front end hopped the, the rut and, and then went right into the hay bales and the hay bales aren't soft they're not like uh, tough blocks where they're, they're foam and they're uh, hay, like straight hay so he hit it and just like went over the bars hit his face uh, and I was standing right there basically and saw it and he took a while just to me took a while to get up but I ended up I guess you know hitting his face really hard hitting his head so uh, at that point you know it's uh, pretty much game over at that point for the moto and uh, it's the way it goes you know you, you can do all this preparation and do have everything dialed and do all this work and uh, get into the race and, and there's you know crashes happen in motocross it's a tough sport that's why you know they don't it's not easy like dudes don't just go out there and win easy it's uh it's hard so had a had a rough day and that's part of the sport but you know when you look into it it's a long term deal long road i mean this race these races come and go there's you know the end goal is like supercross and pro ranks and all the things that are way out there i mean this is still just the 7 to 11 or 9 to 11 class it's but you know at the time it's you know you put a lot into it so it gets frustrating for sure you know if stuff like that happens it's definitely frustrating but you know cool thing is you didn't really like seriously get hurt so we'll race again tomorrow we'll have another day and another day after that and another year and another year if everything goes good it's like but to me it's all about continually to push and try and and do the best you can and never give up and just keep going and that's the way I've always done it and it's what I expect out of my kids too so uh, tomorrow we'll see what happens. <laughs>